What's going on everyone? Drew here. How y'all doing today? I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4 from Verizon. That is right. So some of you guys may have got your Verizon iPhone 4 today on February 8th, 2011. Thanks to uh, early shipment. So there we go. Some of you guys will get them probably on the 10th if you didn't go ahead and pre-order. But here we are at GreenPoison.com. This is a tool you're going to be using to jailbreak your Verizon iPhone 4. Now the reason why you want to jailbreak your device is in case you guys want to get you know the latest tweaks mods and themes for your iPhone 4 which is really cool so I uh, go and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to learn on how to do all that because that's pretty much what we do here so uh, this jailbreak is for the Verizon iPhone 4 running on 4.2.6 firmware with green poison RC5 beta 4 and we're going to be using this on the Mac now if you guys have a Linux and Windows you will have to extract this with a Renoir or something like that to your desktop and then just go ahead and save it and then you should be good to go So let's go ahead and begin the process So let's go ahead and exit out of greenpoison.com and poison the O is a zero And uh, here is the little icon right there itself that you should get on your computer Right there it is we are on a Mac. All right guys before we do anything else I'm just going to show you guys that I am on 4.2.1 now to do this to find out what firmware you are running you're going to go into general of your settings so go ahead and open up your settings and go into a uh, general and go to about then scroll down then it'll show you a version of 4.2.1 but if you're on Verizon it's going to be 4.2.6 right there it is you should see that and uh, you must be on those two firmwares to jailbreak your device with a green poison on the iPhone 4 and make sure your device is plugged into your computer and make sure you have a fresh restore on your device as well before we begin the process so let's go ahead and open it double tap again this is a untethered jailbreak by untethered meaning you guys can go ahead and turn your device on or off without having to worry about plugging it back into the computer and run the program again like you had to in red snow so let me uh, go ahead and proceed the process so first thing we're going to do is power off our device I know it doesn't say that but that's what we're going to do slide the power off and then you should see a spinning wheel make sure that is completely gone before we jailbreak okay it's gone now let's read the on-screen instructions so uh, green poison press jailbreak and follow the description below so here it says get ready to start press and hold sleep button continue holding sleep press and hold home release sleep button continue holding home and so now let's go ahead and press jailbreak and see what happens so now we're going to press jailbreak and we should see some number countdown over here on the right. So let's go ahead and proceed and press jailbreak. So right now we're going to hold the power for about two seconds. Now we're going to hold power and home for about 10 seconds. Now release power and keep holding the home button for about another 15 seconds jailbreaking keep holding the home until it says done so we now can go ahead and release the home button because it says complete now you should see all that on your screen that is a good thing so the kernels and whatnot running. All right, now you should see the animated Apple logo on your device. That's the uh, new loader for Green Poison, which is pretty cool. And then it does go back to the regular Apple logo. Just give it some time here. And it goes back to the skull.
Okay, our device has kicked back on. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock. Scroll over, there's the loader. Go ahead and open that up. It's going to load for you. Then you're going to click on Insidia. Then you're going to click on install. Then it's going to install Insidia on your device. And then you should be good to go. So, there we go. It should respring after closing loader. So there we go. There's the nice little skull. Slide to unlock. Open up Cydia. Then you're going to download all of your normal stuff. So there you guys go. That's how you jailbreak your iPhone 4 on Verizon. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Go ahead and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter if you guys have any questions. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Y'all take it easy and have a good one. Thanks a lot for watching.